<laughs> well, I, I wish I could say that that was true, but um, no, you do have bad sectors. It's usually they just get completely obliterated, and you don't get control of them at all. So that's the biggest problem. It is worse, yeah. It's worse on a data recovery end, too. Yes, uh, we have a problem right now. If the MBR is messed up, it does not currently look for partition structures that the MBR doesn't know. So you could hand build one if you wanted to. They are writing a partition search feature. Keep in mind this is all beta right now. So they're writing a, MB a partition search feature for those same partitions. So that is, a, that is currently a problem, though. It will try to do an ECC recovery on the MBR, though. So, for instance, even if there's one byte that's still an error, it'll try to recover from it. So, uh, but uh, this tool does some other things, and this is not a part of the demo I prepared. So, uh, if it blows up, um, if if I actually wanted to do something with heads, there's actually a function that actually looks at heads, and you can turn on and off bad heads, and so you can individually. It'll individually search through the zone tables, and it'll build the zone table listing. So anybody who knows what ZCAV is will know what I'm talking about, Bonnie++. Plus Plus. It's building, it's using zone tables, and it's using zone tables to identify all the heads. And so uh, depending on how long, sometimes this can take an hour to actually run. But uh, it'll build a list of all of the heads, and you can individually turn off a head. So those drives that have a clunking error, but they still come ready, you, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, like three minutes after you start a drive, and it's going clunk, 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 clunk. And then it comes ready, and it looks like you can copy files, but then it starts erroring out and stuff. Sometimes that's a bad head. And you can actually uh, turn off the bad head, image all the good stuff, and then go back and try to deal with the bad head or make a new head or do something like that from that standpoint, replace the head. Um, but so in a minute, what will happen was when it's done with the zone table, it will give me an option to turn off individual heads. So I think this one's only got three heads or four heads. Uh, I've only seen f I see four go by. So... Yeah, um, no, you don't care about the other head, so you can turn it off. It'll actually fill in the holes. It'll fill in the gaps. So now that it's done, if I actually went to the list and I actually looked at the process, I actually now have four heads. I can actually go down and turn off an individual head. This is the only tool in this price range which actually does that. Yes, it does. It'll read whatever that head is assigned to. It will skip all of that data. But that does not mean that you don't have, like, like, zones are actually divided up according to numbers of LBA blocks that are consecutive. So zones it may still be two megs. You may still have a good Word document, even though one head might be missing. So. Does it, does it, do it is not meant to do secure erase, no. But you can do that with a floppy. Yeah. Yeah, it'll wipe a drive. It'll do a wipe drive, but it's not doing secure erase. So it's not doing anything with uh, with bad bad sectors, bad blocks from that standpoint for wiping them. But any other questions? So anyway, I think this is really cool. I think this is the direction that everything's going with data recovery tools. And so we're now actually kind of getting this merger that we didn't have before. It used to be you'd have to do the drive, and then you'd have to go and do something like run our studios or some other data recovery software to read what you've recovered and you wouldn't know what your bad blocks were or which files. Like if I had 25 bad sectors, I'd have no idea what I had. But here, I'll get a good percentage, and I'll get a list, and I'll know what I'm looking at specifically, if it's good or bad. So, But that's what I had. So thank you.